Okay guys, welcome back. We are now going to uh, create the more complex uh, extraction on this portion of the, the highway. So let's do it. Let's go back into performance mode. Let's activate the landscape so we can see what we're doing. So I think I'm going to uh, create an extraction around here. So what I'm going to do is simply uh, duplicate this bit here. Okay, now set this to zero, bring it closer. Very good, have this like that and like that. And so what we're going to do, we are going to create our, our loop. So this is great. We are going to take this and put it there. This is quite okay. And uh, we want to subdivide this and we want to bring this a little bit further away from the transition of the extraction. Because this is going to be the spot where we transition between road and bridge. So we want this to be straight. Okay. We want the transition between road and bridge to be straight. Very good. So the it's should be all right and so around here we are going to simply dissociate both of them and all this section is going to be sorry all this section is going to be bridge so we remove the road assign bridge okay very good now we can use this to duplicate and have the bridge continue here and so this will be our bridge and we will simply, uh, I don't know, continue it like that and so on. And we will take this and duplicate. And let's say we create a, we're not going to do a all lane. We are going to keep it a two lane. And so I want my extraction to be a one lane. So I don't want it to be as wide as a two lane. So what we're going to do, we're going uh, 0 0.05 and same for the support. So this is better and we are going to do the same here so here we are going to here to select only this vertex do the same 0 0.05 very good and here it is as well the same so this is cool so we have half the width of a, a usual lane in here and in here we simply want to merge all of this okay very good. Now we want to tighten the transition here. So we are simply going to do the usual like that. Uh, in fact, yes, we are going to do it like this. And we are going to continue our bridge, which is here. And until it's reach almost the land around here, that's okay. We are going to subdivide this, bring it closer here, dissociate, and do the same around here, bring it closer. And so this is going to we're we're going to remove bridge from this and add road. Okay. So this is our connection. When you have a bridge and a road connection, you always want to uh, tighten up the bridge part, which is connecting. Okay, otherwise it will uh, the bridge generator will create a, uh, a wall here. What we want as well, we want to select this connecting uh, connecting uh, vertex, and we want to assign it the bridge no end. I will. Uh, later explain why we have assigned a bridge no end here okay so probably we should uh so we have this lane going here it shouldn't this makes no sense okay this is not uh, about making sense in a road design way it's just to show you basically how you can proceed to create those type of complex things okay because this lane shouldn't be linked on this side. It should be on the other side, but it's whatever. So we are simply going to do the same on the other side. So let's go over here. Let's bring that closer. Very good. We are going to 
go more like this. Very good. And we are going to have our transition between bridge and road as well here. So probably what we don't really need to be it that far. I think it's better if it's like this. Sorry. And then we will simply dissociate it again. And here, this is going to be a bridge and not a road. So we, we remove road and only bridge. OK, very good. And then we can do something like this. Uh, we would like the transition to happen like somewhere around here. This is quite OK. So let's re redesign our uh, extraction here. This is great. Very good. Uh, and so here we want this to be closer, just like so. We want to subdivide around here to bring a point in order to have everything connecting. We want to reduce this to zero. Very good. And we want to as well have this connecting vertex to be a bridge no end. OK, very good. Now we are going to subdivide this at a point here, just uh, outside of where the road is under. And we are going to select this edge. And this edge, we are going to add a bridge, no column. OK, so to this edge, and we are going to select this edge, also a bridge, no column. And this edge, and also a bridge, no column. OK, very good. And now we are simply wanting to uh, continue the bridge, probably, and just uh, I'll put it down like this. And here we will have our road conversion. So this is going to be a road only. So we, we remove bridge and add only road. Very good. So this is very nice. This is exactly what we want. So again, we want every part of bridge and road connection to be aligned. So we want to SZ0. So this is perfectly flat, as we know it. And we will simply just align it. So this is good. This is aligned. We want to do the same here. So we are selecting every bit of we're going to create more definition as well here. So we want this, this, <clears throat> and this to be flat. So that's what we're doing. SZ0. Perfect. We want to add more definition around here. Select again all those points. SZ0. So this is good. This is flat. Everything is going well. And uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, let's just continue this a little bit like this. Probably just put it on the uh, surface of the terrain. And I think <clears throat> we should have something quite OK going on. Let's just bring another point around here, just so that the support merges. Very good. Uh, and uh, yeah. I think it might look OK. Let's get out of the performance mode, hide the terrain, go back to shading uh, view, and let's see uh, how it looks. So we have uh, our terrain perfectly uh, perfectly uh, translating into uh, the extraction. We do have only one point of merging in the terrain in here. It's not very optimal, not very good looking. But we can probably modify this by uh, increasing the uh, support uh, on this part. OK, you can either do this or you can probably just move it a little bit around. This will prob probably help. So yeah, now we have two point, as you can see. So this helped. We just moved it around. Sorry for the noise, guys. The dog is going crazy. Uh, so this is good. We have our transition uh, between uh, all the roads. We have the transition between the bridge and the road here. We have our extraction going 
pretty nicely and we have also the transition between the road and the bridge around here which is going nicely as well so the last step that we need to do we will simply <coughs> go back to roadscape open this again bringing the bridge we will keep this selected alt s alt r alt g and then we will uh, take the bridge generator call the roadscape object and sorry guys so as i was saying everything is working correctly and uh, we just have to uh, uncheck the disable extra gen and everything is generating properly as you can see guys we now have our bridge our extractions are going on and everything is working great as you can see all right so the reason why we um <coughs> The reason why we tighten up uh, this uh, bridge around here on the end of the bridge the reason why we have those points close to another is to not have a, a wall built here by the road uh, the bridge generator the reason why we have set up the bridge no hand vertex group on this one and this one is to uh, avoid having the walls of the bridge uh, to be uh, deleted around these uh, endpoints okay so we have assigned bridge no ends to both of them and the reason why we uh, assigned the bridge no column to this edge this edge and this edge is to avoid the bridge generator to be uh, generating uh, columns under those uh, generated bits of the the bridge and as you can see if we simply go back and disable any performance mode we only have we don't have uh, columns generated under the extraction here neither do we have uh, columns generated under the extraction here it starts again just under here now the reason why we have the funky stuff going on with the column and the, the gap between them is because our uh, lane here is a single lane it's uh, too tight in order to uh, have the column raycast onto it so what we can do to fix this we can simply go to the bridge generator and we can either use a uh, regular columns instead of uh, custom columns or if we keep if you want to keep using uh, custom columns we just have to uh, modify their y value and as soon as the y value uh can be contained under the single lane we can see that the gap is disappearing okay so this is all for uh this video guys i think it covers enough and uh we will see in the next video how we can add uh custom road markings and uh auto automatic road markings to uh, our project so thank you for watching this video see you in the next one thank you